Hey there, YouTube. This is SJM4306 back with another review. Uh, I did a video in the past, and it's done actually quite well on uh, one of these e-ink pads. Well, not really e-ink. I'm not sure exactly what it is. It's sort of like an LCD. Anyway, they're these uh, writing pads that you can erase, and they're electronic, and they're pretty cool, I think. So I was contacted by um, a company that manufactures a range of these, and hopefully, I, I think it's Igeres. Igoras, not sure how to pronounce that. But anyway, I'll put a link down to their uh, Amazon sales page uh, because they have a whole bunch of uh, different sizes and actually a couple things that I think are really neat about um, their implementation of this. Anyway, it uh, comes with a little user manual generally. Um, it actually does have a uh, an app that you can download too. Um, it's this is not uh, wireless or it doesn't save the image or anything all the app basically is is a camera on your phone that you open and it does detection on the um, the contrast and whatnot and it basically takes a digital picture of the screen you could actually go ahead and just use the camera on your phone the stock camera and do something similar but you know it's it is what it is uh, but I think the strength of these comes in terms of um, just having essentially like a scratch pad, like a little notepad that you can just doodle or do some calculations or draw uh, schematics or pinouts, whatever that, you know, are temporary. So that's really cool. Uh, let's see. Just go through uh, some of the information on the back. Yep, the button is uh, right at the top believes this, this is the top um it comes with this little stylus nub and it's actually interesting that it has uh two two sides one that's like um for drawing kind of like thin lines well thinish um these are sort of like rounded lines and then there's like a, a marker shaped one where it's like a, a beveled edge where if you write with just the edge you can get a very thin line or you can actually kind of highlight things if you get it at the right angle it draws a bit of a wider line anyway uh yeah the model that uh they sent me has um this kind of neat um red green blue color thing going on you can kind of see um they do make a version that pretty much just looks like this where it's just green all you know for the entire panel um but this is just sort of a a neat thing you can kind of see the color variant goes from red to orange to yellow to green to blue um just sort of neat um one thing that i do like about this so if we flip it over um there's actually a switch so the other pad that i have uh when you draw on it if you hit the button it'll always just erase it like you expect this one i can draw on it this is basically a write protect switch. So if I flip it towards, there's a picture of a lock. And if it's towards the left, it's unlocked. Right, it's locked. Now if I press the button, I can't accidentally erase it. But I could still draw on top of it. Um, basically, I'm assuming this is just in series with the battery, uh, which is here. And it just turns on and off the battery so that it physically cannot erase that's that's actually a pretty uh, neat feature to have so that you can't accidentally erase it. Now the battery is a CR2032 I believe and there are screws everywhere so I think I kind of have to open this. <laughs> um, anyway we'll pull up the battery and just take a look if it is. Yeah it's a CR2032. A lot of um, these that I've seen, the writing pads I've seen with replaceable batteries use a thinner um, 2025, or yeah, 2025, which is a thinner battery. Um, so this is actually a higher capacity battery, so this should last quite a bit longer. Anyway, I'm going to just pop this open. I kind of have to. If you put screws on a product and give it to me, expect that it's going to be opened. Okay, yeah, so the tabs towards the top are a little harder to get off, but I was able to use a uh, pocket knife, a dull pocket knife, to very carefully pry it off. You can see the battery just goes in here. Um, positive side up, it looks like. Press the button, and it erases everything. Huh, interesting. So, it looks like the actual surface area of the writing pad 
is a bit um, larger, then um, yeah, it extends off the screen area. Uh, so the bezel actually takes up a little bit of room along the sides. And yeah, it's this is actually pretty neat. I've never actually seen the inside of one of these. Um, there are two uh, pads, I'm guessing one goes to like the top layer and one goes to the bottom. Um, and this is similar-ish, I'm guessing, to kind of like an LCD or something like that. Um, but obviously it doesn't require power to retain the image. Um, so you can see here's a switch. It's just yeah, likely in series with the, um, the battery. Um, here's the actual button itself. Uh, the contacts, the solder pads that go over. And yeah, it looks like they're using um, conductive mesh. Sorry about that. Uh, to connect the plastic parts of the ear because obviously you can't solder to the plastic. Um, that's interesting. I can see some transistors. Sorry about that. I can see some uh, transistors in here. Um, it looks like there's some sort of discrete H bridge uh, because there are four transistors and um, they're likely kind of doing what e-ink does where you like flip the polarity and then you flip it back a few times to make sure that you erase everything. Okay, we can see a tiny little inductor here, a diode, so there's some kind of switch mode supplied to step up the three volts from the battery. Uh, probably to erase this requires a higher voltage, maybe like, I don't know, five or ten volts, and the battery is only three volts, so it needs to step that up. There is a tiny little chip here which has a model number. Um, I'm guessing that's going to be like a proprietary micro or something. Well, maybe a standard micro, but they probably wrote software. It could be an ASIC, but I don't know off the top of my head without looking into it more. But yeah, anyway, it's actually pretty simple. And uh, it looks like it'll be pretty reliable in terms of um, most of the shell. It's just the plastic. This sheet is actually pretty thin. It's just like a little piece of paper or something like that. But yeah. There we go. So yeah, all in all, looks like it's a pretty good construction. Um, the only place you'd have to worry about flexing is obviously really the top here and where the um, these contacts are. Um, but the plastic looks pretty beefy. There we go. As good as new. It's uh, pretty rigid. I, I like generally um, the design of it. It's a little bit kiddish, I guess you could say. There we go. Almost got the battery stuck. Yeah, the design is a bit childish, I, I guess you could say, in terms of like the line. Lines aren't straight and whatnot. Uh, this would be a good thing to give to a kid, actually. Um, they can use this as like a doodle pad or something like that. And it's neat that um, they have these uh, this colorful background and whatnot. And I really like the fact that it has a re replaceable, easy-to-get battery that um, should last pretty long. I really like how it has this erase, um, this locking erase feature so that you can't accidentally overwrite. Um, I already have one of these and I use that actually at work. Um, and I, I pretty much leave it at my desk just for uh, drawing out calculations and whatnot and um, just temporary stuff. But this is actually pretty neat. Um, definitely leave this at home. Probably uh, stick some magnets on it. This is pretty light, in fact. This would be perfect to stick some magnets, and then you just stick this on the fridge. So yeah, um, huge thanks to um, the company that sent this, um, Idris. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. I'll put a link down to their uh, sales page, and if you guys are interested in seeing, they have a couple different sizes available. This is a 10-inch model, which is about the size of you know, a small textbook or something like that. Um, they do have ones that go up even larger, I believe, like 12 inches, maybe even larger than that, um, as well as smaller ones that go down to like 8 inches or something like that. So yeah, uh, in general, um, if you guys don't have uh, one of these boards and you'd like to either doodle or you do a lot of work where you need to do like, cal like you know, scratch pad calculations on the back of a napkin, get one of these guys. Uh, you'll be surprised by how much you find yourself reaching for... Um, for one of these pads and how flexible it is. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.
You guys have no idea how long it took me to do this, but it was very satisfying. So...